Hello everyone, it's Jocelyn here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are not new to my channel, what is up, homie? What's up, clown? What's up, rat? What's up, squirrel? What's up, my nigga? where that intro came from that I don't know where that came from as you can see from the title and the thumbnail today we are making ice cream out of these <laughs> well not these in particular these are actually bad nuts <laughs> I don't know I'm childish today we are making ice cream out of these yes baby know them love them especially if you got buck teeth in a bushy tail we're going to be making a corn ice cream so if that's something you are interested in keep watching while you're here go ahead and give me a subscribe if you want to see more of my beautiful face and hear more of my beautiful voice i'm sorry y'all still got these big eyelashes from the other week on <laughs> So yes, today we are making acorn ice cream. How I came up with the idea, I actually have to thank one of my hopefully subscribers and one of my long-term internet friends, Rika up in Canada. Hey sis, how you doing? A ritual of mine is I go to work and on my break, like whether it's lunch break, first break, whatever, one of my besties calls me and talks to me because they get off of work at the same time that I come on to like break. So we have like some free time to catch up throughout the day. So they'll call me and I'll go outside and walk around and surrounding my job is a bunch of oak trees. And so as I'm walking, just kind of talking on the phone, it's just I mindlessly collect acorns. So these are the acorns that I have collected over a course of maybe what two weeks now just being outside and talking on the phone with my friend at work and so I always post about it on Instagram so if you don't follow me on Instagram follow me on Instagram at Joppa doing stuff I will link it down below and Rika my friend from Canada not the same friend that I be talking to on break but <laughs> Rika slid up and she was like what are you going to make with all of those acorns are you gonna make like acorn bacon and I was like acorn bacon what is that and so she sent me a video and it's from that black girl on TikTok that's like foraging stuff um what what is she called the spicy vegan the fiery vegan i don't think that's her name but that's what we refer to her as but she's like a foraging black girl who's vegan you know her she got the glasses the gap she's a great but anyway she had a bait a video on how she made acorn bacon now me personally i was not that invested there was a lot of sifting a lot of blending a lot of things that i don't have access to though if i can find some more acorns of good quality maybe I'll come back and make some acorn bacon as a short or something like that moral of the story I was looking up things to make and acorn ice cream jumped out to me if you don't know me then you probably don't know that I love ice cream and if you do know me you probably don't know that I love ice cream so I don't know why I said it like that so without further ado here is what I did here's how I turned this jar of acorns into creamy delicious nutty mapley cool ball treat <laughs> uh, I said all of that and I forgot the uh just roll credit or let the clip play so these were the acorns that you guys saw in the intro and as you can see a lot of them are floating to the top meaning that these were bad rotten acorns and I could not use them So in the wee hours of the morning while I was out walking Pingua, I brought my jar with me in hopes that I would find some more acorns on our morning walk. I knew that there would be acorns out because there's a big oak tree right in front of my apartment complex and I'm always hearing it hit my car as well as other people's cars in the morning, in the evening, whenever. So I knew I had to find some acorns on this walk. Thank you. 
so just like before I'm just filling up the jar with water and whatever acorns float to the top I know they're rotten and then whatever sink to the bottom I know I can use and I ended up having a lot 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 more than the last time as you can see so I just one by one cracked the acorns which is pretty tedious but I don't think it would have gone by any quicker with a uh, um, regular nutcracker so I just kept going cracking 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 and I think I ended up with about half a cup of acorns which was more than enough So I gave my acorns a quick rinse and strain. This is just to get like that little membrane skin off of them after you've cracked them. Um, you can see all of the nastiness and debris going off. So I just rinsed them a couple of times. And then I'm going to start leaching my acorns. Acorns have a toxin in them called tannin. And if you consume it in large amounts, it could be fatal. It can be pretty poisonous. So it's suggested that you let your acorns soak or you boil them um for periods at a time and what you're kind of looking for is whether you soak them or you boil them you want the water to be brown and you want to keep rinsing them or soaking them or keep browning them however you choose to do it the goal is to have brown like thick dark brown water and then when you do it a second time or a third time again whether you soak them or boil them the next go round, you want the water to run clear so again I decided to boil the acorns because I didn't want to be all day and so I just boiled them maybe twice maybe three times for about 10 to 15 minutes each until the water started running clear and I will say that when it comes to leaching acorns boiling them can cause them to be bitter so if you don't want a bitter taste which why would you um it might be smarter to just let them soak it's a little bit longer but the acorns you know they won't be nasty and bitter and once my acorns were leached, I just put them over some medium heat and let them quickly roast until they became fragrant. Um, I actually forgot about my pot. That's why I'm smoking and burning. So I just let them roast for a little bit and then remember to come back and check on them. And then after that I finally chopped my acorns but I'm no chef I don't have a nice chopping um, 
knife so i just did the best i could you could put them in a food processor i wouldn't recommend it i think just chopping them like this is fine and once i did that i added them back to my saucepan and i added some milk to it i added one and i want to say one fourth cup of non-dairy milk i used unsweetened almond but again, I wish I would have used sweetened because they did turn out a little bit bitter. So a little sweetness wouldn't hurt. And then I just poured that mixture. I would <laughs> recommend letting it cool. I just poured that mixture into my blender and I blended it just to incorporate the nuts into the milk further a little bit better. Here I'm adding a can of coconut milk which you can see is too much for my blender so I had a hard time adding the coconut milk and the maple syrup to it um, so I just ended up splitting it up and blending it into two batches it still worked out fine but if you have a tiny bender you will definitely have to split it up but for those of you with larger blenders this shouldn't be a problem but anyway the recipe goes one can of coconut milk and a half a cup of maple syrup and once everything was all blended I just put it in a big pan I had to throw off my loaf pan earlier today because it kept resting so I just used this regular 9x9 nine nine pan and I added a drizzle of maple syrup to the mixture I wasn't even keeping track of how long I let it sit but I came in and stirred it up sporadically just to kind of give it like a churned um, kind of texture because I knew I wouldn't be able to churn it so I stirred it up in between letting it set and this is how it came out it still wasn't frozen as frozen as it could have been but I'm kind of pleased with how it looks. And there you have it this is my acorn ice cream I drizzled some maple syrup on it in hopes that the sweetness would counter out the bitterness hey everyone I decided to come on and taste my acorn ice cream I've been tasting it sporadically as I've been making it but I am going to taste it now you guys saw the consistency it's like a barely melted maybe like ice cream that set out for about a good five to ten minutes I don't know if I said it in my voice over or not I guess we'll see when I start editing but it is a little bitter because the leaching method for acorns that I use which was boiling really locks in the bitterness whereas if you just let your acorns soak to leach then that bitterness trying kind of drains with it so I think next time if I were to do this again I would leach be quiet I would leach them by just soaking them instead of boiling them, even though it takes longer but with that aside I drizzled some maple syrup on it so hopefully it masks some of that bitterness without getting rid of that acorny taste so let's try it <laughs> Let me go get you a baby bowl so you can try some. Where's your bowl, Pingua? Since it's vegan, I will let Pingua have a try too. Jocelyn, Jocelyn, let me try. How is it, buddy? How you like it? Give me ice cream. Give me ice cream. It's fine. No, don't eat it too fast, baby. You'll get a brain freeze. Okay, so hopefully he will eat his ice cream and let me finish filming in peace. So another taste. I could have left it freeze just a little bit longer, but yes. Okay, I want to set that down. 
because that is really good it's almost reminiscent of like pralines and cream or butter pecan not quite either recently i found out that pralines and cream and butter pecan are not the same thing which sounds like tomato tomato a praline is just a candy coated pecan and then cream is just sweeted dairy and then butter is just salty dairy so it seems like the same thing but apparently they are not <laughs> with that being said the acorn ice cream does not taste like either one but it still has that nutty sweetie maple -y taste but if you want it to compare it to a type of ice cream then that's what it tastes like you don't get any almond flavor from the almond milk you don't get any coconut flavor from the coconut milk you eat up all that ice cream and like i said i added just the tiniest drizzle well not that tiny but i added a drizzle of maple syrup on it just in case it was still too bitter which i knew it was going to still be too bitter because i had been tasting as i go so make sure when you leach it you let it soak instead of boiling it but if you do boil it and are pressed for time maybe using like sweetened almond milk or sweetened coconut milk or even adding a little bit more maple syrup that could help mask the bitterness if you leach it that way but yes <laughs> And it worked really, really great without the ice cream maker. I didn't think that it was going to be really creamy because I didn't have an ice cream maker to turn it. But just sitting it in the freezer wasn't so bad and letting it melt out. It's still creamy and nice. It still tastes like ice cream, which is really, really great. Yes, that is it. That is how you make some acorn ice cream. Ice cream with some yummy, yummy little nuts that you can just find out and about in the streets. Why you wouldn't want to be eating ice cream in this weather, I don't know. But maybe you live in the South like me and it's still off and on bipolar weather a little hot in the evenings even though it's cold in the morning so it's still a fun fall treat if you guys like this video don't forget to like this video comment down below what you want to see from me next and give me a subscribe while you're at it if you like this content and you would like to see more in the meantime thank you guys for watching and i will see you later 